What's going on everybody, this is Travis with PJ Memes. Welcome to Home Course, we take you behind the scenes with the top PJ Tour players to show you their homes, their toys, their cars. And on this first episode, we're in Columbus, Ohio, home to the Ohio State Buckeyes, home to one of the coolest zoos in the country, and home to 12-time PJ Tour champion, Jason Day. Jason won the 2015 PJ Championship, former world number one, and one of the coolest guys on the PJ Tour. We're gonna go head out to his house, check out his golf complex, and believe me, you guys are not gonna to wanna to miss this. Hey, thank you for watching Home Course. Our presenting sponsor is Ultimate Golf, which is by far my favorite app on my phone. Whenever I'm trying to escape away from everyday social media, the internet, I always dive into the Ultimate Golf app and just enjoy my experience. If you haven't played, it's a free app on your marketplace. You can play against your friends, you can play against your family. Oftentimes, you can actually play against notable celebrities as well. But they're real golf courses, it's a real experience, and it's a lot of fun. And that's often what I'm gonna be doing just on my downtime as I'm shooting more and more of these episodes. But thank you for all of your support. Hopefully you're enjoying the series and thank you again to Ultimate Golf for being our presenting sponsor and look forward to more episodes in the future. Have a great one. What's up, dude? What's happening, man? How are you, brother? Dude, good, good to see, see you, man. man. Thanks for coming, man. All right, let's check this place out. Yeah, man. come on in. Got. This is, uh, I think some people have seen this before, but uh, this is kind of more in depth and a lot of people haven't seen upstairs yet. Yeah. So this is kind of cool to have you out and yeah. go over some of the stuff. Not your average golf set up here. So, no, right? no. And once again, we uh, live in Ohio. So we get some kind of average weather during the winter time. So this is kind of what living in Ohio for the past 11 years, um, typically I kind of go out to the West Coast at the start of the, at the, start of the year, but there's a time period from like right now, which is kind of start of November to December yeah. that I'm here. And I need a place when it is bad weather, today it's nice, but when it is bad weather that I need to practice and yeah. typically I come indoors and I'll practice. So you, right now we're standing in the gym area. Uh, probably the, mo the biggest thing that I use is probably that Versa Climber and then this, and then obviously the ground, because now I'm, it's all about the movement and making sure that I'm, that I'm staying healthy. So yeah. this is kind of the gym. I actually sit in here and watch CNBC in the morning, Gordon Gecko style, so. Um, <laughs> Gotta keep up on those investments. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Not doing very well, trust me. Uh, this is a virtual green. Now, what that means is that, oh, this was like, I think the third one in the US. So obviously since then they've had upgrades and stuff. Um, if you walk on it, it's kind of very, soft yeah, so that that's the arms that you can feel so at that at that tv over there i can control uh the percentage of the slope so i could be standing from the end to there and i can create any putt that i want so wow. left to right right to left downhill uphill and this is third one like in this the was the third one in the us okay. i believe okay. from what they're saying i know that um yeah there's plenty more now so i'm actually gonna probably get new carpet in here. It's been used a lot, so um, time to kind of get new carpet. And then moving across to the simulator. Uh, this is something that I use a lot in here because currently with Chris Coma, I'm changing a lot in my golf swing. Um, and the good thing about changing your golf swing inside is that you don't react to the ball flight. Um, typically when I'm out trying to change my golf swing, mm -hmm. um, out, out on the range, I'll start seeing the ball flight and then I start reacting to the ball flight and then I lose what I'm trying to do technically. So this is where I try and like kind of find the foundation for the swing changes that I'm going to try in to implement. Okay. And then I go outside and uh, try and make those changes like kind of little bit by little bit. Um, so hopefully that the change happens in here, slowly goes out to the you know, practice area here, yeah. and then I can take it out to the golf course. So it's just, there's like little phases that I'm trying to okay. step. Heading across to the uh, trophy cabinet. I, I know it, I, it, just needs, I need, it needs to be bigger. I need to expand it, you know what I mean? I need to do something and expand it. But um, there's some cool things in here, like uh, 
Obviously, the PGA Trophy is pretty nice. Um, yeah, Wanamaker, uh, front and center right Yeah, there, front right? and center. Dude, I need to win more majors too. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta pull my finger out here. But um, this is probably the most treasured item that I have in this whole cabinet, by far. Because this is, I don't know if you know this, but this is a golf club that was pulled out of the trash or the landfill way back in the day when I was a kid, when my dad found it. So this is a golf club, <coughs> excuse me, that he gave me when I was three and this is what started it all. So I have it now and it, it's just sitting up here, which is kind of cool. So that's probably my most treasured uh, item on this. This was from uh, my first win on the Corn Ferry Tour, which was the, um, I think it was nationwide back then. A couple of match play events. This, this one's actually pretty cool too. This is actually, it's not from a trophy. It's not from a tournament that I won, but it's a um, Mark H. McCormick uh, Award, which means that whoever holds the number one spot in the world for the longest in that time period in the year uh -huh. gets that award. So that was kind of nice to be able to win that one. Um, this is the Bay, uh, Bay Hill Arnold Palmer Invitational. And uh, sad to say, but like, um, I got to, you typically when you win, you get to have a drink with, with Arnie. Yeah. And I think a lot of people know the story, but um, I finished, it was like 95 degrees or 90 degrees, something, it was hot. I was wearing black, I think. And I get off the golf course, I win, and then uh, Mr. Palmer is sitting in his house for his little unit. And he goes, what do you want to drink? I said, oh, I'll have whatever you want. And I think, typically I think it's kettle one just on the rocks. And yeah. it's like, he pours me like it's water. It's like this, <laughs> it's this big dude. Like I, <laughs> so I'm drinking it with him. And we're, I, you know, I, I, it's sad to say that we don't get to be able to experience that anymore. The guys that win the tournament now don't get to experience that. Yeah. Cause I was the last guy to, to experience that. And obviously rest in peace, but yeah. um, you know, it's, it was, it, that was a neat experience just to be able to sit and talk to him about, about random stuff for like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, and yeah. then when I got onto Golf Channel, 10 minutes later, I was absolutely hammered. So. <laughs> <laughs> he juiced you up pretty Yeah, well. oh, he juiced me up really, really good. This, this is the runner up from, uh, from Augusta in 2011. So funny story, I was gonna quit that week, quit the game of golf. I just decided, you know, I, I'm not enjoying it. You know, I just didn't feel like I wanted to play golf and I've gone through phases of that where I've wanted to quit and uh, I've, all I ever wanted to do as a kid uh, was, was to win Augusta National and to become number one in the world. And my rookie uh, masters, I was on the cusp of actually quitting the game and then finally I said, look, I'm just going to go enjoy it, finish second. Um, wow. which was really close to winning, but Charles Worthel came through and birdied the last four holes, which was absolutely phenomenal. So yeah. he played some good golf come down the stretch. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's kind of cool, man, like to look back on some of this stuff and to be able to walk in every day, knowing that, hey, you did some good stuff playing golf. I want more, kind yeah. of seeing that. I want to kind of keep pushing more and keep pushing more. Cause I look at it and I go, everyone would be like, yeah, that's a, cool trophy ca case and tro trophy cabinet, uh, whatever you want to call it. But to me, there's not enough up there. Here yeah, I, I, gotta, I, gotta take you, uh, I gotta take you upstairs. I think, you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. There's a couple of memorabilia items upstairs. No one's really seen um, some of the stuff upstairs. All right, dude. Um, like I said, there's some cool items up here. This one is probably my favorite up here. Uh, other than the Australian rugby team, Coatley Bill, thank you very much for getting that to me. This was oh, a few years back. That's awesome. This is a whole Australian rugby team and uh, been a big fan of those guys for, for a long time. Obviously, they've, some of the players have moved on now, but uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, Aaron Rodgers, Jason, you're the goat, you <laughs> 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 So the story, the story behind it is, I don't know why he called me the goat, because I, I don't know whether I'm goat in, but the story is he went down to Australia and he plays Pebble Beach every now and then. Yeah, um, yeah. But I ended up getting to meet him and playing with him, like not actually in the tournament, but just yeah. practice rounds. Yeah. And he said he went down to Australia and he had fun down at Byron Bay and all that stuff. And then by the end of the day, we're calling each other <laughs> So every time we text each other, we're calling each other that. Yeah. 
and that's what he wrote on the on the jersey. So that's, that is awesome. That's a that's a cool little piece. He's but, a pretty good golfer too. He showed up in the match. Man, think, yeah. that guy's an athlete, dude. Yeah. Like I just. Man, these football players like Tom Brady and, yeah. and, and Rogers and like all these other guys that play golf, like baseball players, it's unbelievable how much they actually love golf and yeah. how good they are. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is cool. After the PGA that I won, uh, I can't remember who, we might have been playing Michigan State. Okay. But um, I ended up, uh, I was able to, to go down on the field in between a play. Mm -hmm. And I was standing in the middle of the field, or just kind of off to the side of the like, off to the side of the center. And then they played uh, this like big on their big screen, uh, like my win of the PGA, and yeah. introduced me, and the crowd went nuts, and it was, awesome. it was it was fun. That's awesome. And obviously, I've been a big Cavs fan, so uh, they you know going there and enjoying the, the title enjoying the game. Yeah. Hey, so tell me a little bit about the story when LeBron crashed into you and LA. Yeah. yeah. So everyone knows it, like everyone, <laughs> like there's a bad photos of me going like this. So <laughs> it's not like, I was sitting there chatting to my, my buddy who was to the right of me owned those seats. Okay. And so it's, it's my buddy Andy Mead, me, Ellie, and then his wife. And um, we're just sitting there, and I'm just talking, and I'm like, kind of like this, what we're doing right now. And then I, all of a sudden, I just see a ball kind of bounce. I'm like, oh, there's a ball kind of coming. I was just gonna look at it and just kind of, you know, when it comes out, I was just gonna flick it. And then like, dude, it was like a blur. Like, cause you weren't really paying attention and you should be paying attention a lot more because if you sit in courtside, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And this kind of blur came out of nowhere and I'm just like, whoa, what the, and then he just like LeBron just, ran from the side. I don't know where he came from, yeah. but he ran from the side and just tried to flick it back and then took out both the, both the girls. <laughs> and um, I, I do remember the picture where you're like leaning the other way. Oh, I dude, like, <laughs> uh, like I didn't know what was happening. So yeah. my immediate thought was just to get out of the way. Yeah. Um, but Ellie ended up hitting her head. She, we ended up taking her to hospital yeah. that, and she was in hospital until three o'clock in the morning. But I ended up going out, I signed with Nike, and I went out to Portland to go to, to Nike, and they asked me the similar question. Mm -hmm. I said, it's literally the only time that I would let LeBron James lay on my wife. <laughs> so, <laughs> never again, but it was fun. I mean, I don't blame him, because he, yeah. he, do, he, he was doing his hardest, and he was trying his hardest, and sure. he was just doing his job. Same yeah. thing Ellie said, but, uh, it would have been better if he threw it to uh, one of his players instead of Russell Westbrook. So, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> this is kind of the view. If you, if usually, typically, when my team stays here, um, if we're working out in the golf course, they, I've got two rooms, one here and then obviously one behind. Um, this is the master room. It's still not done, even though it's been here for four years. There's still like missing lights and missing stuff. But this is kind of uh, this is it, man. But like. They get this view, so when you when they're laying in bed at night, they get to look out at this view of the golf course. So, That's insane. yeah, man, I wish I actually wish my house had this view. This. Yeah, I, I actually do, because <laughs> it's uh, it's looking it's looking yeah. it's looking good. Jason Spencer, my uh, greenskeeper or uh, superintendent, has done a phenomenal job uh, getting the course ready for you boys today. So. <laughs> So since I hit here so much, I like installed a mat and the, like around the, there's another mat over there and there's two more mats down the, down the back because I do hit so many balls. Yeah. And if I was here hitting balls all day long, I'd tear this whole past, uh, yeah. part up. Yeah. But um, from here to the back pin location is about 157 yards. Okay. So I wish it was longer. Yeah. I wish I had like full drivers, everything. But yeah. this, with the space that I have, this is what I've got. And yeah. I could have extended it a little bit further, like the green back to about 175 yards, which yeah. would have been nice, but I'm taking out those trees um, then, and I kind of like having a little bit of privacy from the, the water side back here, and then actually it kind of looks neat, right? especially right now oh, with yeah, all the, the foliage um, and, the, and, the, and the, the, the change in the colors, it, look, it looks cool. So, yeah. but yeah, kind of, that's kind of why I wanted to kind of flow this way and then go in. Yeah, uh, my golf game, I think 157 is about the appropriate distance. Any further than that, it'll get a little <laughs> challenging for me. Yeah, no, Jay's got the course looking nice right now. Um, 
Just trying to think. Yeah, so there's some like Augusta style feel of, you know, design work in here, especially that bunker there. Uh, that definitely is. I was gonna ask you that, is like what kind of inspired you with this this design, this layout? You got a lot of undulation here in the Yeah, so um, here, front of that green, I kind of wanted an Oakmont feel where they have a lot, you know, kind of like a, Oakmont has larger run-ups. Uh -huh. But or like even to a to a, a certain more a certain degree is having the Pinehurst number two look. Yeah. Because you have that kind of turtle back feel, and when you can at least get like a five iron, a three wood, a, a hybrid, whatever you want to do, putter, be able to hit the putts going up the up that turtle back part. Just because, like when you practice, you gotta. It's no good just hitting chips like this all day long. You gotta just hit a bunch of different chips and different scenarios, all that stuff, just so that it gives you gives you an idea of how to play them. So, Muirfield Village Sand, Oakmont Sand, that's Muirfield Village Sand, and then there in the back where the British Open bunker is, that's like kind of dune sand right now. So it's like kind of British Open sand that we have. Actually, before I put the Muirfield Village Sand in, um, in this bunker, it used to be a, a, a stra like an Australian type of sand. Uh -huh. And before the rough was around that, it used to be all fairway. So okay, it was really. actually, it was, it was a really neat kind of um, cool look because uh, it was just all shaved fairway, all everywhere that you can see where the, because where the edges are, mm -hmm. that's all fake like turf. Okay. So. Um, the way that they, they designed it, it, it actually did look really cool, but it was just really difficult to hold um, the grass. The grass would start dying at the, at the edges of where that fake turf is. And then you sit and Jay was sitting there watering it half the day trying to keep it alive, so. <laughs> yeah, could put the artificial yeah. stuff in. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is, this, is, this is kind of it. This is the way we designed it. I, I wanted to be able to design a, a place where I wouldn't get bored. Yeah. And I don't, I don't really, I don't get bored you out here. You can hit every type of shot. You can hit every, any, any type of shot, man. Yeah. Any type of shot you want out here, which is, yeah. which is great. Down in this area, but this is a pool house here. So on the other side, you'll see the pool, but um, I park my bus here. So it's got like a 50 amp service, water, electric, everything that you need to have a bus park here. And but, that's how you like to travel around. Yeah, family. I travel, I travel and we travel with the kids. So we, yeah. we homeschool the kids uh -huh. and we travel with the kids and there's four kids and me and me and Ellie, um, so six people on there, it's, it's kind of hectic, but it's it's cool, man. <laughs> I, I, I like it, but um, funny story is that I stay here during the Memorial Tournament. I don't stay in the house because I've had a really bad record, um, you know, playing the tournament okay. while staying at home. And when we had the pandemic year where we had two tournaments back to back at, at Muirfield, uh -huh. I stayed in the bus for the two weeks, and I think I finished T4 and T7. So like every year now, <laughs> now you're staying in there, staying in the bus. I so keep, the, keep the schedule consistent, I guess, huh? Yeah, whole, exactly. Did the exactly. whole family stay in there? With no, you no, they stay. I stay in there by myself. <laughs> um, so this is kind of new. I'm actually like we're going to do landscaping next year, but um, but yeah, this is the sauna area. The sauna. This is a cold plunge. Um, right now it's at 55 degrees, so typically I, I jump in at like 50 degrees, so it's nice and nice and cool. Uh, cold shower right there. So I typically jump in the sauna um, and then come out here, jump in the, the cold plunge two, three times. Where we're standing right here under this fan, this is where to, like during the warmer months I'll have my massage work done here or I'll stretch here. Okay. It's kind of like peaceful because it just oh. kind of looks straight out to see why trees yeah. and, and nothing else. So it's kind of nice to be able to have this piece and, and be here and do some stretching and stuff like that too. So this stuff here, like is, this is a new addition to the property, but this is more of a new like regimen for you and your schedule and your routine, your, yeah, your health. Yeah, so, right? yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously everyone knows that I've got like, I've, that I've had a bad back, um, but now I feel great. I'm trying to take the correct steps to um, to to extend the longevity of my career. So this is a pool area. So in the summertime, we uh, this is where we spend a lot of our time. Um, kids. So th when we when we uh, bought this house, this was wasn't here. It was just a bunch of trees. Okay. And then the pool house, obviously. 
So this is kind of... Dude, what a view. This is awesome. Yeah. I can see why you want to spend a little bit of time out here. This is where my mom uh, lives. So my mom's actually getting tr treatment over here and she has been living here for, oh shoot, maybe a year and a half, two years now. Okay. Full time, kind of. Like she would go back and forth. She's actually gonna get a green card here in a little bit, which, okay. is, which is nice. So she'd have to actually come to the country, get a treatment and then, and then leave. Um, and then have to come back every, every like so often. Um, so now she's inside. That's a lot, that's a lot. Here, yeah, just, just, just give me that one, just give me that one. I'm just starting. Yep. <laughs> so mum says she's just starting, but I think she, I think she's doing a good job. Oh, this is amazing. this is one of her uh, her last one. She, her last one, she had stick figures kind of all over, like finger pin, <laughs> painting art, like kindergarten. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> no, she's. So how we how we started is we started. Where was it? Uh, 2018. Now, uh, just after the surgery. Okay. Yeah, and, and we started uh, watching Bob Ross. Yeah. On oh. YouTube, mm -hmm. and then I would be I was really good at drawing, like doing a mountain, oh. and then now mum is Actually, like. It oh, is on yeah. the book. Oh, my mum's doing a book, a poetry book. I've got to show you. So, Ben Everill, who's who's a, a media Australian media guy out and tour. My mum likes to write, write poetry. Okay. And uh, yes. That's how we start. So this is how we start. This is how we start. This is actually out in wet, on the west coast, Palm Springs on the west coast. So this is us painting. That's when mum had hair. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I still have <remember> that hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. But this is like, so she, she's really good at, um, she's really good at poetry, like in really deep poetry. So, and English is her second language because she's from the Philippines. Yeah. But, um, that is amazing. Look. So she's like very excited by it. So we're, I don't know, like we're kind of in the middle of like, um, uh, you know, just editing like stuff and then, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. So there's po poetry. I've made a meme with this picture before. You actually. did? Yeah, I have. <laughs> You're not an easy guy to make a meme about. No, dude, I don't, like you, you, can, guy, you can make know? fun of me, I don't care, man. <laughs> it's totally fun. How cool is this? This is awesome. Alright, so we've gone through the house, we've gone through the golf barn, and it's time to embarrass myself as we close down the show. So we're going to hit a couple shots out here on this golf <laughs> property. Uh, Got a couple of wedges in our hands. Let's do it. So, with it, so it's about 65 yards to that. Uh, the second green here is about 65 yards to that uh, last pin. So we'll go there. You want to start? You want to start? All right, okay, I'll start this off. All right, let's go. This is gonna be interesting, man. I've never, I've actually, I I've never seen you play. Oh, dude, that's short. Oh, 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 little fry, little fry, little, fried, egg little fried eggs action there. That's little nice. fried egg action. You actually hit it all right. It was like dead straight. So um, th this is actually a distance that I'm trying to work on a lot right now because I would say it's like a par five distance, like 65 yards and in, it's yeah. kind of like the par five distance where you, it's kind of awkward, I guess. So what are you thinking of here? I'm just thinking not hit another fret egg and I'm also thinking not to shank it right now. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sweet. <laughs> so you got to feel more this way down with it. Okay. So if you can rehearse, yeah, there you go. That's better. That's, that's money right there, dude. All right, man, we'll do pleasure coming out, checking Thanks, this brother. stuff out, dude. Best of luck this season. Appreciate it. You got a great property, so looking forward to you adding some more trophies to the wall. <laughs> That'd be nice. This season. That'd be nice. So, you know, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for joining us here on Home Course.